when Steve Johnson came, he wanted to write a C compiler for a different machine, and he had trouble writing the syntax analyzer, the parser for it, C, and uh, he had heard that I was into formal languages and uh, parsing algorithms. Uh, he said, how would you create this parser for C? And I said, well, I'd first write a grammar for it, and then I'd use Knuth's uh, LAR parsing algorithm for it. And he said, would you mind showing me how to do this? I said, not at all. So I got a big sheet of cardboard from the stock room, sort of two by four, and I did the sets of items construction for the LR parsing algorithm on this sheet of cardboard from the grammar that for the language that uh, Johnson had given me. I'd usually do it watching television over the weekend. Then I'd come on Monday morning and present Johnson with the sheet of cardboard with the specification of the parsing algorithm, the automaton. He'd implement it, and of course it wouldn't work properly because there were mistakes in it. And I'd then the next weekend take home the automaton and correct the mistakes, present him with the uh, corrected automaton. He'd put it into the machine and I've still had mistakes. I think on the third iteration, he said, why don't you tell me how you're actually constructing this? So I explained the LR parsing algorithm to him and what I was doing. He implemented it, and it became the parser generator YAC on Unix. And um, um, Jeff Ullman, Steve Johnson, and I worked on making the construction of um, LR parsers much more efficient, and we wrote a number of papers on this, and uh, Steve Johnson just kept rewriting uh, YAC to make it better and faster all the time. Over a period of several years, um, YAC uh, became one of the most widely used tools for constructing parsers, particularly in computer science courses, and this fast regular expression pattern matching algorithm that I had created got into a tool for create, creating another component of a compiler called the lexical analyzer. And uh, uh, there was one interesting summer where um, Eric Schmidt was a summer intern at Bell Labs and he took one of my fast regular expression pattern matching algorithms and put it into uh, this lexical analyzer generator program called Lex that Michael Lesk had first developed. So using Lex to develop the lexical analyzer and using YAC to generate the syntax analyzer became a very quick way of constructing the front end of a compiler. And it allowed you to experiment with programming language design. So um, Knuth has this... Uh, uh, saying that the best theory is motivated by practice and the best practice by theory. And I sort of internalized that with my early experience in the Computing Science Research Center because I found that the theory that we were developing in computer science could be applied to document preparation systems, programming languages, compilers, and so on. Um, and um, it was really a uh, very interesting uh, environment. I might point out that the first Fortran compiler developed by IBM in the 1950s took 18 staff years to create. In my Programming Languages and Compilers course, I organized the students into teams of four or five. Each team had to create their own programming language and then write a translator for it. And in the all the time that I taught the course for almost 25 years at Columbia to thousands of students, never did a team fail to deliver a working compiler in the 15-week course. And I attribute that to the abstractions and algorithms that we put into our Dragon books 
and to the tools that we created to support these abstractions and algorithms.